Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hollow here. And if you are listening to this on the day that it comes out, which is Friday, March 30th, then know that at this time, I am currently moving into my new apartment. Maybe I will do a tour video go ahead and leave a like right now if you guys want to see the new apartment it's actually really nice it's the nicest place i've lived in since i was a kid hands down absolutely love it but the topic for today is what is the new meta in destiny 2 after the go fast update and honestly it's not really all that different pulse rifles seem to be the type of weapon that's been most effective in pvp with the changes with the 450 RPM ones being the go-to right now. Also, Vigilance Wing is nasty. It's sporting some of the fastest time to kill in the game at the moment. But honestly, I don't know if the player base is privy to using pulse rifles. I think that we're going to see a shift back to the auto rifle Uriel's meta pretty quickly. If you're wondering about team shotting and all that other stuff that they were supposed to combat... In this update it's still there and even with the reasons that they gave for boosting movement to combat that it really hasn't worked out i still think a faster time to kill would help solve this in accordance to like weapon damage but no dice in this update regarding that competitive has the opportunity for you to flank and get to drop on people without radar being a factor but most of the time it feels like teammates have no spatial awareness and die due to not having that crutch of a radar i might do a video on competitive like the playlist and uh how it can be improved later on because i think it desperately needs some love because what's the point of going into that playlist at all and speaking of a playlist like that i assume that trials will be much of the same but people will probably be abusing corner camping even more and it'll probably promote slower play basically my biggest issue with destiny 2 right now is the time to kill and the fact that you can get a jump on someone and just get obliterated because two people turn around and just light you up because of team shotting because unlike in destiny one you can't take out somebody quick enough and move on to the next target and still have your health because it's just the the gunfight is too prolonged in destiny one i feel like if i got the drop on three people i honestly had the advantage if i flanked them and they had no idea i was there i was able to use my hand cannon and maybe switch to my secondary and that was an easy play in destiny 2 i can't win that fight at all the best i can hope for is i take one person out or you know we trade and then the other two guys just clean me up super fast and that's because the time to kill is so high i can't mathematically put out enough damage to be able to do that or if somebody makes a bad play and just like runs out into the open and i am the advantageous player putting my shots into them the time to kill is so high that that person can just run away and hide i saw a story an anecdote if you will on reddit about somebody that uses the foe tracer helmet on the hunter and he got into a fight and he was noticing that people were able to run away and as soon as they turned the corner they just stopped moving to regen their shields he could see that because of the foe tracer helmet and that is boring in my opinion so that's the meta in my opinion you guys can definitely try out the pulse rifles i think that you know a pulse rifle sidearm combo can be effective but most of the time people are just going to use what they're comfortable with and it's been six months of using Uriel's gift and auto rifles like that people probably aren't going to move away so fast from that and power weapons with the power weapon economy for the ammo boxes it is all Acrius right now Acrius and the colony to a lesser extent but the Acrius is going to have to see some type of adjustment or all power weapons are going to have to be pushed up to Acrius now, does that mean that sniper rifles are going to be a one-hit kill if you hit somebody in the foot and they have full health and shields? That's kind of baloney to me. I, I I understand that everybody's like, no, don't nerf anything, don't nerf anything, don't nerf the outliers, bring everything up. But the Acrius is just ridiculous, in my opinion. I, I can't justify having fun with that gun or wanting to use that gun or wanting to play against it. It's just obnoxious to me. So that's going to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. Wish me luck on moving. Hopefully my setup will be good to go by next week. 
and uh, I can get some content out to you guys. I tried to upload every single day this week and I might try to record some videos in the meantime and uh, edit them and get them already uploaded to YouTube. So just in case something happens, I can have videos ready to go for next week. But I love you, all of you, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.